Last week we talked about writing code that's built to run in Node.js. Today we're going to create our module and a file that imports that module for testing purposes. We're also going to create a JSON file just to show that Node.js also allows you access to the file system. Everybody ready? First, create a clean directory with nothing in it. This will make life easier when we package things up in the next tutorial. You can name it test or temp or puppies rule, doesn't matter. Next up, in that directory, create a file called test.json. This is some of the data we're going to test with. We'll also do some testing with inline data. Here's what it should look like. As you can see, that array is not in any particular kind of order. We're going to create a function that'll sort it by key name. So for example, age is going to come first, followed by boolean fan, and so forth. To do that, we need to create a new file called index.js. So make sure to save this one first. Inside, we're going to add the meat of our code. We're even going to include an optional options parameter that'll allow us to sort by ascending, the default, or descending. Let's start with just opening and closing our function. Now we'd like to handle JSON whether it's already been parsed or not, so add this inside the function. Now let's do our sort and return a value. Below the code you just added, add the following. Note, for brevity's sake, this function's a little fragile. It doesn't check and make sure it's being fed an array of objects, for example. It also doesn't deal at all with objects that have more than one key value pair. It just sorts by the first one it finds in each of the two objects it's comparing. For a production app, you'd want to handle breaking issues, errors, and malformed data more gracefully. But this is JS quick hits and not JS long and exhaustive hits, so we're keeping it simple. Our function's complete. Now we need to export it so that other files can use it. At the very end of the file, underneath the function, add this code. Save the file, and that's it. Our node module is complete and usable by any other file running in a Node.js ecosystem. Neat. Let's test it out. Create a new file in the same directory called test.js. This one's simple, so I'm going to give you all of the code at once and then explain it. As you can see, we're importing our sort by keys function from our module by using Node.js's built-in require method. We're not using ES6 import export syntax at this time because it behaves differently than require and the Node.js team is still working on full implementation. We're also using require to read our JSON file. This converts the JSON to a JS array by default. So I also provided a raw JSON string similar to what you'd get from an XHR request. We also run a descending sort to test that option. Save this file. And let's check out our tests. Open a terminal window or command prompt, cd to the directory in which you've stored these files, and type the following. node test.js. Hit enter. And we get an error. Aha. This doesn't belong. Try that again. We get another error. Man, guys. I really messed up here. That helps a whole lot to turn it into an actual function. One more try. There we go. You should see it print out your three arrays, now sorted alphabetically by key name, with the third sort being descending. Woohoo! Congratulations, you've written a node module. Uh, but it's not really a node module yet, is it? It's just a file you can import. 
Turning it into a true module means packaging it up and uploading it to NPM so it can be easily installed and used in other projects. We'll tackle that next week. See you then.